fucked up, Molly reached the peak. Do you feel me now? Packs came in for the hundred thou. If the eyes not can, I'ma knock him out. The only female centered dynamic entry in this vid because let's be real females in rap straight up niggas ain't trying to hear them for show in the mainstream and for shit show in the underground that was until the one and only female rapper that really mattered and truly had talent and potential through the roof named brooklyn she had it and created these melodic masterpieces like summer i don't know what to tell you tweaking uh-huh and forever part one slow even when a little deeper into some rap typing with gango we go in admit it santani through to you left right but but in the midst of all this greatness she started to become further acquainted with another sound as well it wasn't melodic wasn't beautiful shit it was hardly even rap in what i would call psychedelic core as you see after love santana that beautiful tape that really set our eyes on her as the next to look out for and as the next female rapper to truly make it out of the underground with some of the cuts on the album having her feeling very reminiscent of and being seen as the female duo female zan man and at that time won't no way you could fool me telling me she is not wick playing dress up for some reason i ain't falling for that again she hated that resented that idea and separated herself from all that and whilst being underground part of this scene i guess always stayed to herself in her own realm her own dimension and leading into her next release she got in touch with her inner higher self and started seeing through all the bs in life and now just wanted to make some music and art that's unique to her and that she can look back on years from now when it's all said and done proudly uh yeah pretty much she started fucking on digital nas of all producers popped a few tabs in this hoe and was never the same again introducing this new sound in her second release nirvana mixtape album that felt different okay not like those other guys she wasn't zan Wu man anymore that's for show but it also felt incomplete i remember the hype i had for the tape wanting essentially love santana too as that sound was undefeated and is still untouched till this day and as that was one of my favorite drops in the same year no less you can't blame me for at least expecting something similar to that just to hear this first track back. I, can't ever tell I, this thing is I wasn't alone either with other people questioning this odd direction commenting things like did you drop the rough versions of these songs my ears this is dyslexic music uh nah bk i think you tweaking by yourself on this one i don't really think this style is it it's unique but you're not really saying much and it doesn't sound like something you can safely play on the ox <laughs> apart from summer i love you back and gango that ironically enough sound just like love santana cuts it's unbearable and i'm afraid to say she never truly got back on that santana time and again just glimpses here and there but for the most part it's just the off-putting weirdo different dimension jingle she throws together or as i would like to tag it scaring the listeners away and be like on ja cuh she just be straight up talking sometimes she, 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 she. messing up her ratio it's really hit or miss now for the most part and it's a damn shame because those songs on love santana and even the ones i just named from nirvana remain as her biggest songs across all platforms and get the biggest reactions at her shows and it's like she can really put a melodic pop rap banger together and she could have been out of here making shit with the top R&B girls, she can sing, wish she would put those vocals to real use, but no, she gotta be different, and not generic, and put out hits like Blue, Placement, Pussy on Feet, huh? and Get Your Man, Get Us Man, that's just so much better now, but she just be mumbling sometimes, I don't know, y'all think it's hard, y'all want them, you, you trying to impress them, y'all want it, y'all want it, no, but no worries as molly brings what we want bk to be but hey she's on different timing now on a different dimension level five whatever crazy bitch she's moved on and i also feel like this because dog we need a solid consistent female running in the game in the new way right up there with the boys yeah it was bk at one point but she kind of slowed down and is really doing her own thing doesn't really care about keeping up with the trends and the sounds of today where molly shit trend might as well be tatted on her she's already 
hip to the relevant sounds of today, hops on them, these beats, has the aesthetic, and does these different styles of music. She even bought the Asian skin. That's like the ultimate dominant race, the key to success in this shit. Have you seen a Benji Code cover art? And she's actually a girl using them. You know, and is someone who doesn't feel the need to be different or experimental. And you could say that is painfully generic at times. But I say, hey, music is good when it's familiar to what we know, you know, of those beloved sounds in the past, branched off of those, and when it eventually grows and evolves into being a part of one's work. Okay, and that's what Molly's been on, or is on the pace too. It's just music that's been getting better and not devolving with every single release. It'll catch on. Molly is more raised than BK, which is respectable and kinda hard. It blends in with the guy audience more, and I must admit she's actually harder than most of them doing it. Which as a girl is something that is hard to do in a difficult ass base to reach. And it's funny, since girls traditionally tend to go the more singing route immediately. But dare I say she spazzes more in this lane and is harder than mostly all niggas. People instantly say she's a clone of BK, mainly because... Uh cooch and is naturally having a lighter voice on these beats because of said cooch but nah they don't even have the same flow or delivery on beats at all but i would be lying if i said she wasn't sometimes a little very similar to some dudes i've heard before bk perfected her craft to a point in a way where her gender being a girl a baddie at that and me wanting to crack an egg on the side of her shape with some ketchup on top wasn't even a topic when i saw her thought of her whenever i watched anyone speak on her and that's the same way i well you you know, I can't speak for all of y'all. I mean, she is Asian. I know what y'all be doing in y'all free time. That's the same feeling I get with Molly. Now, and it might be a little too early to say this, and it may take a bit more of her mama's life savings pumped into her undefeated promo run. It may take a little more of that for y'all to see it, but she could be that for the female rap scene. What BK was for a minute there. Like, I can't even name Molly Santana songs like I just did for BK. You know, like, to be fair, she's just getting started. It's crazy to even compare right now but right now she has the higher ceiling to me and i say that because she's making stuff right now that i like and stuff that i can look back on a few years from now and say yeah that's good and if she keeps growing getting better at the pace she's been doing she can have a better catalog in the long run that's all i'm saying and that's all i'm seeing right now and her new work oh, yeah. isn't oh, helping her case either the singing or melodic rapping like we know bk to be goaded at is too far in between now and now when we do get it it don't hit the same and you see even with those acoustic cuts of her hit song she should know how to sing she was still doing that fucking shit rapping about getting a tan or some shit like she's not already tan and peanut butter color already you crazy bitch? that style of hers when she does it now it's it's like lost that spark. Everybody else is kind of lacking behind. It isn't really making the noise they had. And Molly is just better than the rest of them. Who either had no real engagement or growing fan base to begin with behind their music. Just drama, sex appeal, and everything else you can think of outside of it. It's not too many girls popping that you can even name outside of her. Like what, Soulja Brat? Eh, that my wife, so watch your mouth about her, but nah. Maya, I think she's busy with school for real. <laughs> This is sucking up all the knowledge. Baby Sosa, she's really a fashionista for real. I can see her just saying bump this and going into clothing in the next few years. Leisha G, I mean, she hard, I guess. But she just be live all goddamn day. Like, I, matter of fact, go check. She probably on live right now with some damn 30 year old bearded random niggas. Zaminzo, y'all sick. She only went up because of one niche underground hits and one of y'all grown hairy ass freak boys wanting to smash this pre pubescent. And look at I'm having a good time. You f***ing on Fabity Nash. You f***ing want me because I'm blasting. Yes. And not gonna be when I get. We need a girl rapper to make a way now and stay there. And if there's anyone I nominate that could really hang there with the top dogs, it's this girl with a very original name. Wait, the wrong person. This one. No, 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 no. This one. 
No, no, no. What? What? This. Okay, man. You just fucking with me. I see the vision. If she can lock in on some more prime heaven sent BK type shit with BK, or even on the slider harder rap shit, I don't know. That'd be some crazy. I ain't trying to meat ride these dudes more than I already have in the previous section, but she's a perfect fit for Opie. And with that vibe and aesthetic, her username already has the double O's. You can hate, but you can't deny her growth and spike in numbers over the past two months or so. Because of promo or not, the engagement and plays on everything now, her getting everybody to talk, you can't fake that. Molly might be in her prime soon enough. She's going up every week, doing this appearance, that appearance. I think she got some shows lined up, but if she got more melodic, and if she could just get to prime BK level, or even get a collab with BK on that type ish, the future for Molly is generally uncertain. With how niggas careers go up and down, left and right, she might be entering her prime soon. I don't know. And I don't know if she could get to prime BK level, but a collab will be enough to prove that she possibly could. I can honestly see her blowing past BK if anything, but I don't know. I'm iffy on this. A song together could bring a needed resurgence for both of their careers. You know, girl power. It'll go hard. Heavenly vocals. Two of the hottest girls. What y'all think?